Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a series in my channel of where I am cleaning, decluttering, and organizing every room in the house. I started off with the boys' room, and right now I'm just decluttering their closet. With Christmas coming up and multiple holidays, I want to make sure that we have space for all the new stuff. We do usually go all out for Christmas, but I wanted to make sure that everything is clean. And although the boys are exactly the same age, they aren't the same size, and one usually tends to wear slim the other one tends to wear husky so what I'm doing here is whatever can fit I will usually move it to Ricky's side and then I will move whatever doesn't fit from Ricky's side to Rain's side and that's basically I'm just alternating and rotating but I also collect shoe boxes I know weird but they come so handy for school projects the boys haven't had a school project yet but I will definitely keep you guys posted and definitely show you guys how I like to do it it saves so much money I swear by it I've been doing it since they've been in like BP or kindergarten I can't remember but usually like as soon as they start school anyways I'm just going to be decluttering and organizing and I'm just going to make sure that everything is looking good and thank you for all the love and support I got on my video for the house flooding oh my gosh that was such a big mess it was a lot to clean up and by the end of the day my back everything was hurting because I was just going ham so thank you so much it means the world to me also whenever you guys leave me comments it makes my day like there is nothing that could go wrong in my day because i don't know you guys keep me going you guys keep me like consistent and hold me accountable and it means the world to me when you guys like reach out to me and all of that i don't know i just feel like it's just different like it's like a friendship growing you know so anyways i just wanted to thank you guys and i'm going i feel like i'm just going on a little bit too long so i'm going to be adding some music now giving up your dreams to your city
this was filmed over multiple days because it was a lot to do and I'm sorry for the lights flickering this is actually Stella messing with the lights then I end up getting her off the bed and then we're good after that Waited all my life for someone like you to show so I wanted to remove the little tape things off of the boy stairs, which I actually do. And I ended up finding the little strips at Home Depot, but the house is such a mess that I wasn't able to find it. So I wasn't able to do it today. But coming up, you'll see that I'm removing it and then I'm also cleaning it off. I just wanted it to be safer for the boys to have like a better grip because they were, you know, they were like peeling and stuff. So I wanted to do that and that will be in another video once I finally end up finding it. But yeah. Until we get it right. So it's finally the next day and I'm going to be making the bed. Now the reason why one of the boys has like a whole Sonic theme and the other one is just like a plain blue one, which you will, you'll see right now, is because although they have bunk beds, they actually like to sleep together. And then when they get mad at each other, they sleep separate. So I do make both beds, but in reality they only use one. So the boys room is finally done and now we're going to be moving on to Stella's room. I'm going to start off with making, well actually washing her sheets and then I thought that this room wasn't going to be too bad so I only cleaned the boys room, Stella's room and my bathroom. I did like a whole deep clean and declutter and organize but it turns out that Stella ended up getting some kind of Cheetos or some kind of stuff on her hands. The walls were dirty, the curtains were dirty so I needed to wash everything but as I'm doing this I wanted to give you guys a quick little update. As I've said before I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and I feel like I have a hard time putting myself first and doing stuff for myself. So this year I was like, I'm going to make some serious changes in my life where I do have the time to do this because I have been wanting to do this. With that being said, there has been a couple of strange things that have been happening to me. So for example, I have gotten notifications of like people trying to hack into my YouTube and I just thought it was kind of wild because you know you always hear these stories but then you're just like oh that wouldn't happen to me like who would want to do that so it's been crazy that I've had to like and just make sure that the necessary precautions are there so people can't just hack into it so that's also been crazy another thing that is recent is I've had someone just you know come for me and it hasn't been good it's made me uncomfortable it's made me like I was shaking yesterday out of fear of you know not knowing what they're going to do to me basically a, a stalker that has also been you know on my mind and at one point I'm just like oh my gosh like I don't want to put my family in harm's way or for something to happen or something to be done to us but then there's another side of me of like you can't let people 
you know, control you. You can't let people put you down. And at the end of the day, there are necessary precautions to take. I don't want to go into too much detail just because it is recent. It is pretty traumatic. You know, I'm just not there to share 100% the story. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit update. If you guys are in a situation where you guys are feeling like you're going to give up or people are intimidating you or people are doing stuff to make you feel some kind of way you know don't let them at the end of the day it shows more of who they are than who you are so please just keep in mind that you are amazing and that you are going to get through this and that things will settle down and things will get better but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update i was like i don't know if i should record like a sit down of you know kind of just giving you guys a little bit of a life update because it, it shook me pretty bad like i was shaking that's how much fear i had so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know and please be careful i was looking like a fool when i met you all covered up in the dirt from my past so insecure about myself when i met you
Okay, so now we are on to my bathroom and this bathroom was pretty disgusting. It was really bad. Things are everywhere. What I'm going to start doing is the shower. So I saw this, uh, I think it was like a short or a TikTok. I can't remember, but it was something. And this girl was saying, because I had rust at the bottom, and she was saying that she has well water and that this really helped her. I do have to say, I believe it was like $2 or something at Walmart. And this is amazing. It really got a lot of the rust off. So I'm just going to let it sit and then I'm going to go back and clean it. But I'm just cleaning underneath the sink and making sure that everything is tidy up. I have a bad habit of not letting go of stuff, like especially skincare. Like I'll be like, okay, well maybe I'll use it or it didn't work, but maybe it'll work later on when in reality, if it didn't work, it didn't work. Or maybe because I spent money on it, it's just hard to let go of some things. So I was trying to declutter, making sure that everything was cleared out. And I'm also going to be going on vacation very soon. So I wanted to make sure that things are accessible. I know where things are. Like for example, my balm that I used to remove my makeup, I ended up finding the travel one, which is amazing. So a lot of the times that's what I do. Like I'll purchase stuff thinking, okay, Okay, well it's gone missing or something's going on and in reality if I just decluttered and organized I would be able to find it so I'm happy that I did this because I was able to find a lot of things I also did my husband's and I just went throughout and just made sure that everything was looking neat I leave the TV on I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this so let's go So this bathroom was pretty gross and the amount of gunk that was coming out especially underneath this was actually really bad it was a much needed thing also this tool from amazon this little battery operated looks like a toothbrush it's amazing i think i got it like a month ago and i'm now just using it and honestly it really gets in there what i would like to get is a different shower head to be able to clean this off because i ended up getting soaked after this because i was using the, my daughter's little pink bucket that i used to wash her to rinse everything off that's the only thing that i would change I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh Watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, Baby, real free I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me I got you wrapped around my finger But don't you try to call me tomorrow Watch me pray.
Another reason why my husband's side is a little bit worse than mine is because the kids actually go through here and my husband does keep a lot of like the band-aid stuff and you know the rubbing alcohol and all of that. So a lot of the kids like to play in here or mess around with it and that's what creates the clutter and the mess. I am thinking about putting like a little lock in here like a child safety lock just to make sure that you know they're not getting into stuff because as you can see there's like scissors and of course there's stuff for the face. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care About the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no See the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure Everything makes total sense when you're next to me So now that we have gotten the counter all cleaned up, I started to rub the counter and there was like some, I don't know what it's called, but there was like some bumps and then some blue stains in it. My husband swears that it was the products that were on here, but sometimes he does put water, like water cups here. So I don't know if it was that because this is not actual, I don't, as you can see here, you see the little like bumps. If you guys know what it is or know how to remove it, please let me know. But my husband was swearing that it was the bottles that I had put on there, but he does have the tendency to put like water 
water cups there so i don't know if it's like the water have is not actual marble it i forget the name of it but it's definitely something else so i don't know i scrubbed and rubbed and that did not come off Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for Okay, so once I'm done with this, I'm going to be cleaning the dashboards. It wasn't too bad. It's been worse before. But again, like I said, I wanted to make sure that this was like a good deep clean. I'm restocking everything that needs to be restocked. Okay, so now I'm just quickly going to be vacuuming everywhere. Then after that, I'm going to be mopping. We are coming towards the end of the video. I want to thank you so much for being here and for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next one. Troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm up, so try not to hold me down, feel alive.
I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks